Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create line markers for your column charts. So let's say for example you have a column chart like this. This is actually called a stacked column chart where you are comparing uh, different items in a series uh, maybe for uh, let me see, different months here. So we have maybe sales for some items. Uh, this all is 100% of the items. And we're looking at them for different months, a six month period. But it's kind of harder to, to kind of look at where the, they trend to in this kind of view under the stack column. We want to kind of add these line markers so it kind of gives us a better representation of where these products are trending. If this was a, a standard, a regular a column chart, you may not have this problem, maybe because they'll be all together. But since it, it is a stack column chart, you might have some difficulty in kind of seeing a trend. So these line markers give it an extra um, emphasis on the trend of where the data is going. So it leads your eye a little bit better. So it's a fairly easy thing to do. Let me go ahead and show you how this is done. Now we're in a sheet where we have our data. So I can go under insert and I'm going to insert a chart. It's going to be a column chart. So there's the column chart down here and I want to insert a stack column chart. So if I have the stack column chart, uh, you don't have your lines automatically. Let me go ahead and delete these uh, grid these uh, grid lines here, and so it looks a little bit cleaner. And basically, what you want to do is you want to go and add a chart element. So under once we click on the chart, you'll see that there's this contextual menu here. We have our design tab and our format tab. If we click outside of it, you don't see it anymore. But let me go and click inside, and in the design tab, go to add chart element. And what you want to do is add a line. So once you hover over it, it's going to give you a representation of that line. So we have our line chart here. But also, when we're in uh, this view after we've added our line markers, if you want to add a little bit more uh, visual appeal to it, there's other options you can give it. So um, let me go ahead and undo that. And I'll kind of show you what happens. So if you're in, in this chart, there's different chart styles. You can see that uh, there's a multitude of chart styles here that you can give it. Now let me go back outside and add the line markers. So if you add the line markers here, if I add the line markers here, these series lines, now with the line markers added, these series lines, and you can go back into the chart styles and now you have a little bit more of a view of what you can do with the different styles here. So we can take a look and see if we wanted to um, choose some styles here that are already kind of pre-populated for us with these line markers. In addition to the styles you can choose from up here, if you are want to choose another area, you can actually click on this little brush here and it will give you the different styles. So you can kind of hover over it. It's basically the same that you see above in the chart styles group, but you also have the option here of selecting colors. So I mean, so we can select this color range, or this color range, or this color range, or um, this other color range. So there are a multitude of different uh, options you can choose from once you put this, uh, these line markers here, these series markers. Um, so again, if you want to put these uh, lines, what are called series lines, into your stack column chart, that's where you would do it in 2014. It's under the chart tools, design, add chart element, and the lines. You can do a lot of things uh, in terms of coloring your lines and also giving some more emphasis on the visual design. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.